So your mind's made up, eh, June? Yes, Willie, I'm going to divorce you. But what do you see in that ex-prize fighter, Plug Hardy? Oh, I love him, Willie. And as soon as I get my divorce, I'm going to marry him. Well, I suppose there's nothing I can do to stop you. No, the trial is today. And as soon as I get dressed, I'm going down to see Zachary D. Ward for my final legal conference. Well, maybe i better get a lawyer, too. Here you are, Blackstone and Blodgett. We handle anything legal or nearly legal. Cut freight lawyers. No down payment. See us once, make our home your own. A beautiful suit there, giving away with every lawsuit. We'll protect your rights till your last penny is gone. Ah, uh, another soul made happy. Blackstone and Blodgett, lawyers de loop. Ah, technocracy. Miss, I'm a lawyer. In case you catch pneumonia from that thing... See Blackstone. And Budge, you see nothing. <laughs> There's you. Blackstone and Blodgett, the romantic lawyers. Well, I'll see you later on then, Plug. I'll meet you in your office in half an hour. Right. You leave everything to Thackeray D. Ward. But listen, I want to see June alone first. Say, yeah? how about that alimony? <laughs> June thinks I'm asking $10,000. But I'll get 100000 and you and I will split the difference. Is that so? Gee, that's great. Yes, we'll take that sap husband of hers for plenty. Okay with me. Say, that's a good-looking suit you have on there, Plug. Yeah, I bought it special for the trial. Oh, is that so? <laughs> so long. So long. <laughs> Look, Blodgett, there is a real damaged suit. Come on. Take it easy. Don't lose your head. We're here. Are you hurt? No. Don't say that. We're lawyers. We can get you damages for this. What's your name? Blood Hardy and I ain't hurt. Don't say that. You can look hurt, can't you? Uh, Turn around. I'll fix that up. Hey! That's hey! Well. Cut that out. What's the idea? This is your big chance. Blodgett, work on that sleeve. That's it, that's it. Give it a pull there. That's, that's, How's that? that? That's swell. What? Wait a minute. What is this? Hey, what is Please, please keep quiet, Josep. I'll get you thousands of dollars for this. Let's see that hat. Oh, oh, look. My new hat. That's all right. Don't worry. How about it? Hey, well, right. well, give me some action. This always gives it a nice touch, too. Oh, oh that's... Hey, it. listen, listen. Hey, that's enough. Shut up. I know my business. Roger, throw some ashes on him. Dirty him up a little. I'll help you. Oh, that's fine. That's coming along fine. Now turn around. Hold still. Now close the eyes. Just to make it realistic. Oh, oh. Ah, now let me see that. Let me see it. Oh, that's a peach. I'll get you a million bucks for this. We'll show those reckless drivers where they get off. Now, Blodgett, what was the license number on that car? I didn't get it. You didn't get the la- you well, did you get the number? No. Well, then we haven't the case to be thrown out of court. Haven't the leg to stand on. No evidence at all. I'll be seeing you. Wait a minute. Just a minute. Oh, oh, oh. And the winner. (laughs) Oh, there you are. We're Blackstone and Blodgett lawyers. Want any legal work done? Why, you two shysters. Shysters? Do you know who you're talking to? Don't apologize. We talk to anybody. I'm Thackeray D. Ward, one of the leading lawyers in this city. Never heard of you. If I ever get you into a courtroom, you'll you'll hear of me. You lawyers, bah. Be careful of those baths. That's slander before and after the fact. Remember, caveat emptor. Aha! Why, that hair-lipped bullfrog. I'm going to get even with that guy someday. Mal Dickett, Mal Dockett. All right, get a bottle. Let's go up in the office and get a little drink of throat varnish. Well, that's different. (laughs) 
Very well. I'll tell Mr. Blackstone. Good morning. Are Blackstone and Blodgett in? Yes, sir, but they're both very busy. Oh, what a pity. Wait a minute. I can be mistaken. What's this one, Blodgett? Go ahead. <laughs> Slips. That was out of bounds. That don't count. Counts with me, all right. Don't bicker, please. Now, what's this one? Hey, a ringer. They're in conference. Well, I'll come back later. Just a moment. Did you have an appointment? Why, no. Oh, in that case, you can go right in. Oh, thank you so much. Bet I can beat you with my eyes shut. Bet you can. Bet I can. What's this? Oh. I'll sue him for trespassing. You can't do that. I know my rights. It's all right. It's all my fault. Maybe this will bring me good luck. Are you here as a customer? Yes. Then it's brought us all good luck already. Sit right down here. Pull up a chair for him. Make yourself at home. Now, uh, do you smoke? Yes. So do I. It's a bad habit. Ah, oh, struck oil. Now state your squawk briefly. This is my busy day. I'm William Bolt. Well, so what? My wife is going to sue me for divorce. Good. I, I mean, proceed. I, I, I'm in favor of the divorce, but I don't want to pay any alimony. Don't blame me a bit. There's no profit in paying alimony. I found that out myself. Ha! <laughs> you represent me in court this afternoon. This afternoon? Get the divorce. Yes. No alimony, and I'll pay you $1,000. Oh. Take it easy, Blodgett. Take it easy. $1,000? Where am I? Where am I? Why, what's the matter? Been working a little too hard lately, I guess. You think you can win? Think I can win? Never lost a case yet, have a Blodgy? Nope, you're a first customer. Uh-huh. Huh? Don't pay any attention to him mentally, he's just a baby. Ah. Now, what's your wife's lawyer's name? Thackeray D. Ward. Thackeray D. Ward. Good. Look out for him, he's crooked as a corkscrew. Probably crookeder, but aren't we all? I'll show you that I'm a bigger crook than Thackeray D. Ward ever dared to be. What? Uh, I mean, uh, I'll beat him at his own game. I understand he's engaged to marry the judge's daughter. Marry the judge's daughter, Blodgett. A perfect setup. That's all I want to know. Well, I guess I'll be going. Uh, you know, I haven't pitched horseshoes since I was a little boy. Well, go ahead and try. You mind if I do? No, help yourself. Make yourself at home. I like to. I like your form. He uses the overlapping grip. <laughs> Ouch! Well, Danny. I'm afraid I'm a little out of practice. Oh, that's all right. It's only glass. <laughs> Everything's going to be all right, I think. Sure. Things look rosy now. What we don't know about Lord Phil Forty Library. It's a pleasure to do business with two gentlemen like you. You came to the right lawyer yeah. when you came to me. I'll Goodbye. be seeing you. See you there. Blodgett, this is our chance to get even with Factory D. Ward. Ring for Miss Gough. Oh, hello. hello. Did you hello. ring? I didn't hear a thing, but I'm glad you're here. Bring your pad. Okay. Bring two pads. What flavor? Six and seven eights. Anything. Hurry up. Make mine vanilla. So, Ward is going to marry the judge's daughter, eh? Yeah. I'll show him who's the leading liar, I mean lawyer in this town. Here's your pad. I'll take the soft one. I'll smoke mine later. Miss Gupp, we've got to get the goods on Thackeray D. Ward. You mean the big shot lawyer? None other. Well, but how? We'll use Formula 37. Oh, no. I like 23. There'll be no insubordination around this office. There's no finesse to 23. You use Formula 37 and like it. Go ahead, we'll follow. Uh, we'll soon have Thackeray D. Ward right where we want him. Ah! Well, what's this? Blodgett, what kind of pictures have you been taking with this camera? Formula 23. I got it. Boys will be boys. Come on, Blodgett. Well, everything is Jake. I'll be sure and remember, June, and do exactly as I told you. And I'll surely get my divorce this afternoon. Positive. Oh, splendid. Well, goodbye, Pluggy, dear. Goodbye. See you after the trial. You bet. Oh, and Mr. Ward, thank you so much. Oh, you're quite welcome. And precious, please be careful of the automobile. Well, I guess I'll go home and clean up. And I'll meet you at the courthouse. You stay away from the courthouse. I'll see you outside after the trial. Oh, yeah? You just get that alimony, and don't you double-cross me. Don't be silly. I have my reputation to think of. Me too. Oh, oh my goodness oh. gracious. Did you hurt yourself? Yes. Oh, that's too bad. Here, put your foot right up there. There. How's that? It's not the ankle. It's the knee. Yeah. Oh, the knee. There, there, there.
Have this developed right away, Blodgett. Good old Formula 37. Have I got Thackeray's reward right where I want it? <laughs> but enough of this gloating. It's time for that later. Scram, Blodgy bird. <laughs> Order in the court. <laughs> Next case on the docket, Bolt versus Bolt. Not. We're ready, Your Honor. meaning of this outrage. What are you doing here? I am the counsel for Mr. Bolt. You? You'll do well, you will. Ha, 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 ha. Curse you, Thackeray D. Ward. You'll pay dearly for that sardonic laugh. Is your client, Mr. Bolt, here? Yes, but it's not necessary with Blackstone and Blodgett on the job. Your Honor, I'd like to state he's out of order. You shut up or I'll fine you five dollars for contempt of court. Five dollars would never express my contempt for this court. <laughs> Boys, give the judge a court in G. Quiet. Quiet or I'll clear the courtroom. We will proceed with the case. Is the first witness ready? Yes. Your Honor? You're a fathead. Who said that? He, he did. did. You shut up or I'll find you too. Proceed. Will you please take the witness stand, Mrs. Bolt? Now, careful now. Look out. Don't trip. Watch your step. There you are. Mrs. Bolt, would you like a pillow? No, thank you so much. Now, Mrs. Bolt, you make yourself real comfortable. Hey, why don't you take off your shoes? I object. We all object. <laughs> order, order. Objection overruled. <laughs> Swear in the witness, Gideon. Do your step, Giddy. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Just as you rehearsed it with your lawyer. Yes, I do. Proceed. Are you the plaintiff in this action? Yes. I object. On what grounds? None. Overruled. Content. Proceed. The defendant here, Mr. William Bolt, is your husband? Yes. I object. On what grounds? What grounds, Roger? Fair grounds. Overruled. Uh, he's got the wrong book. He's got the racing form. Proceed. How long have you been married to Mr. Bolt? Two years. I don't object. I I, I I got him that time. He didn't have an answer for that one. I got him one up, Lodger. Go ahead. I'm keeping score. Overruled. Cross that one off. Your Honor, I'd like to... I object. Right. I object. I haven't said anything yet. You can't object until he says something. All right, all right. My mistake. I know the law. I admit when I'm wrong. Your Honor... My witness is being intimidated. Look at her. She's a nervous wreck. Why, her happiness as well as her health are at stake. <coughs> exactly. <laughs> Your Honor, 
My learned colleague here... He knows me. ...is using unethical methods. In fact, I think he's a nitwit and a fish-brain shyster. I demand that the word fish-brain and nitwit be struck from the records of this court. But I'll spot you that one word shyster. Strike it out. <laughs> it's a strikeout. You are seeking a divorce from your husband because of what? Drunkenness and cruelty. It's a lie, but I don't object. I, 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 ha, ha, I'm too fast for him, Blodgett. <laughs> Quiet. Proceed. During the time you were married to Mr. Bolt, how often was he intoxicated? Almost every day. And uh, did he ever beat you? Well, not exactly. I object. Uh, Objection overruled. That is all, Your Honor. The witness is yours. I rest my case. Uh, <laughs> 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 Order in the court. He means odor in the court. <laughs> Boys, give Ward a big sour cord. Mr. Blackstone, proceed with the case. Your Honor, ladies and gentlemen, first I would like to give you a brief resume. In other words, I would like to recapitulate. Hot dog, is that a word? Recapitulate. Egbert, comb that word out of your two before mustache. Blodgett, look that up in case I have to explain what it means later. Okay. Now, my pretty penguin, you say your husband is intoxicated almost every day? Yes. No, that is not true. A thousand no's, Judge. He has never been intoxicated, except when he was drunk and didn't know what he was doing. Now, I object. Overruled. You keep out of this. Quiet, everybody. Now, where are you? Oh. How long have you been married to Mr. Bolt? Two years. Two years. Remember that, everybody. Two years. Now, answer this and be very, very careful. At any time, during the two years that you were married to Mr. Bolt, were you ever arrested? Certainly not. Why not? Well, because I never did anything. Married two years and never did anything. A slacker, eh? That's the only point I wanted to bring out. Your Honor, that is all. I rest my case and my feet. Boys, a cord for Blackstone's dogs. Order. Any reason why I should not pass judgment? No. After hearing all the evidence presented, I hereby grant a decree of absolute divorce in favor of the plaintiff. Hooray! We've won. Now to get the alimony. Did we lose? No, everything's coming along fine. But I haven't played my ace in the hole yet. No? Keep that till I'm ready for it. Oh, the old knee nurser. The knuckle conniver. <laughs> Good old Formula 37. It never misses. Order. Order. Order in the court. Is there anything else? Yes, Your Honor. Regarding the alimony to my client. Here comes the jib. State your demand. First, the cash amount of $100,000. <laughs> Second, that the defendant, Mr. William Bolt, pay all the court costs. And also my fee for legal services, which amounts to $25,000. That is all. Oh, isn't that enough? You forgot to mention the national debt. My client didn't have a wedding, he had a war. I object to everything this burglar said, and I object with justice. I want justice. I want justice. This is unheard of. I want justice. I want justice. Shut up. Quit yelling for justice. Remember, you're in a courtroom. I want to go on record as saying that my client won't pay one cent. Alimony. Here, here, you can't say that. Why not? You must have proof or evidence to back up your statement. That's just what I have. New evidence. Give me that photograph. Don't tell me you lost it or I'll cane you on the cross. Ah, Formula 37. You'll have to show me. That's just what I'm going to do. Read that and weep. Why, you, I don't want... Won't do you any good to tear it up. I still have the negative. 
Well, what do you want me to do? Change your plea or I'll show that to the judge and the judge's daughter. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Your Honor, this new evidence has changed the entire aspect of this case. Why, why, if it were aired in this court, it would shake the very bulwarks of our nation. Bulwarks is right. I withdraw my plea for alimony and consulty. My decision stands as rendered, but the plaintiff will pay all costs and no alimony. If there is no further business, courts adjourn. Hold it, everybody! Well, how much did we get? No alimony. We lost. There's you. Neither one of us get anything. Well, you're wrong about that. Oh! Stranger, I can get you damages for that. Oh, it's Ward. Booey on you. So it's you, eh? Ah! <laughs>